the documentary confirms what the film projects, and that's a complete freestyle attitude towards creativity. And I'm sure that's the reason it's got such a, an essential life-giving quality. Let's be honest, the film's quite dark in a way, but it touches questions of soul and spirit. And because of the timing of when it was made, it touches the very dark soul of a government, which is trying to take our spirit away. Add all that together and you've got a unique piece of work which is unparalleled by anybody who follows the normal rules of filmmaking. And tell me a little bit about Naeem himself, because you've got to know him. And what, what has connected you to Naeem? What is it about him as a person, other than the film itself, that you've been connected to? I've got to know Naeem very quickly, and that's because there has been an instant connection. I'd say there are three points of contact. The first one is a libertarian instinct, a willingness to free the spirit not to contain it. The second one is to use the medium of broadcasting to say more than our own propaganda, to invite people not into an echo chamber, but into a dialogue where they might actually disagree with what we're saying. And the third one, you can't really put your finger on it, but I'd say it's a matter of principles. He comes from a value system, which I'm still learning about Naeem. And, and you get a hint of that in his broadcasting and in his filmmaking. Put those three things together and you've got an effervescent character who, who fizzes the essence of human nature. And I find that very interesting. And the last question I'd like to pose to you, Limit, is what is the broader implications of people like Naeem making these kind of films uh, with no budget, no script, no permission? What is the broader implication? How can it shake up the society, humanity? What can it do for people? Well, I hear Naeem saying he had no budget, no script, and no permission. And now I realize he means that. Literally, I feel really rather jealous because I've always had a budget, a script, and permission. All this really tells us is that even in filmmaking, which pretends to be a free-spirited, rebellious counterculture, we do actually follow certain rules and certain norms. The lesson for me is to try it his way. It'll save me money, it'll save me time, and it'll free my spirit.